Okay guys, we're back here with the Wine Expert Eclipse Pinot Noir Kit. And um, we are ready for part three. And directions say basically to check the um, specific gravity to be under 0.996. Um, and it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to move along and we're going to start degassing this um, carboy of wine and adding the metabisulfite, the sorbate into this and we're going to uh, stir it in really well and um, this, the instructions here also say to use the uh, kytosan pack um, for clarifying. Now you guys know that I don't use uh, kytosan because it's a shellfish derivative and um, for people that are um, allergic to shellfish, I'm choosing to use sparkaloid instead, but you can choose uh, to use whatever you desire. And then I'm going to be adding in the oak cubes, topping up the carboy, and um, letting it go for another eight days. Alright, so that's what we're up to now, and that's what we're going to get started doing. Alright guys, so what I'm going to be doing now is degassing this Pinot Noir. Now the instructions say not to uh, rack this before doing this. Normally I would be racking it. Uh, but I'm going to be following the instructions on this one. What I have is my mixer set up on a drill. And I'll leave a link for where you can get that from. And wine expert says to uh, stir all the uh, sediment back up into the wine. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. One of the things that's important is to do it slow in the beginning. Because you don't know how much gas is going to come out. So I'm going to be degassing that probably for close to 15-20 uh, minutes or 15 minutes or so until I get all the gas out. Now I could use my vacuum degasser, which you just saw in my other video on, and that'll work fine, but because I want to stir up the suspension I'm using the mixer. Alright, so I'll be right back after stirring this up. You guys might be able to see that the uh, bubbles are starting to come up with a couple of minutes of stirring. What I'm going to be doing now, I know that the instructions say, is to dissolve these packets of sorbate and, um, and uh, sulfite in water and pour it in. What I'm going to do is just pour it into the top and stir it up some more. Um, Alright, uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing, and be right back. First I'm going to pour the sulfite in. And I'm going to stir that up a little bit more. And then I'm going to pour the sorbet in. And stir that up. Alright, so I'm going to be doing this probably for another 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Alright, we'll be right back. And as you guys can see, um, the bubbles are still coming, so I'm just going to keep stirring uh, with this mixer. Um, I don't know if you could see that in this picture. You can see them coming up. So, got some more degassing to do. And after I degas it, I'm going to add my sparkaloid instead of the kytosan and stir it some more. This is the sparkaloid powder that I use in place of kytosan in all of my winemaking. 
Now I use this because the kytosan again is made from shellfish and I try to avoid shellfish for folks that have shellfish allergies. I have another whole video on how to mix this up. You can just follow the directions on the side, but I do have another whole video on it and um, that's what I choose to use. Okay guys, I added the uh, sparkaloid and stirred it up a bit and you can see it's still uh, <laughs> Still going with the gas. I'm going to keep hitting this with the drill. Uh, and then I'm going to top it up to about here with water. That's what the instructions say. Now, if I would have topped this up already, I wouldn't be able to do this degassing right now because everything would overflow. So a lot of people ask me about headspace, okay? How, isn't it important to top it up? Normally, I don't top it up unless I am getting ready to uh, store it over a period of time. Um, now, since we just added the sorbate, uh, it's not going to start re-fermenting. So, it's probably pretty safe to top it up after this, like the instructions say. So, I'm just going to stir this up, top it up, and put the airlock back on. Put that aside for about 10 days, and then we will continue. Alright, so there I am topped up, and I'm going to be putting this in the closet for about 10 days. Um, you guys can see though, hopefully you can see, that if I had topped this up before I started the degassing, that would have been a disaster, right? Because all of that spinning around in here would have made all of this overflow out of the top. Um... All right, so 10 days later, we'll be at the next stage of this uh, extravaganza. Thanks for watching. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you like what you see, please subscribe to my video channel here on YouTube. And um, definitely check out my blogs, www.cookingitalianrecipes.com, with the dashes in the middle. Or um, my other one on winemaking, how to make homemade wine.biz. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and have an awesome day.